I've had this 10 watt laser module for my NEMA lab CNC sitting around for a few months, so I thought it was time I tried it out. The first step is to remove the router spindle mount from the Z axis by removing the four M4 by 18 millimeter screws and unplugging the power connection for the router. You'll be installing the laser bracket with some shorter M8 by 10 millimeter screws that are included with the laser module kit. So make sure you save the longer screws for the next time you put the router mount back on. Here I'm installing the laser bracket on the laser module using the included M3 by 10 millimeter screws. Once the bracket is attached to the laser module, use the four M4 by 10 millimeter screws to attach the bracket and laser module to the Z axis. Now it's time to unwind the power cable and connect one end to the top of the laser module. Make sure you have the plug oriented the right way. Then run the cable over the gantry and plug the other end into the connection on the adapter box labeled laser. The green light shows the laser is getting power, but you have to press the switch which will change it to blue to operate the laser. Before you can run the laser, you have to change a couple of the Gerbil settings. $30 needs to be changed from 12,000 to 1,000. And dollar thirty-two needs to be changed from zero to one to enable the laser. I want to run this laser with light burn, so I'm going to need to create a um, add this device to my uh, light burn here. So we'll go just create manually. Uh, we're going to select Gerbil. We're going to use a serial USB to connect it. And I'm going to change this to Nemo Labs 10 watt laser. And this is set up currently in inches, and I'm just going to put 24. By 16 because that's roughly what it is we can change that later if we want it to auto home uh, on the startup doesn't really matter but we'll leave that checked and put front left because that's where it's going to home to and click next and then click finish and now we should be good so now I can come over here and change this to NEMA labs and it should connect if I turn the controller on. And I can home the machine. And I don't think you can hear it, but it's homing uh, behind me. So we got it connected. Ready to go. Now we're all set to run. You'll notice that the laser module has a protective cover around the nozzle that flips up to make it easy to set the focus. But you should always wear your, the included green laser safety glasses when working around this laser. Also, you can see on the left side of the laser, there is a fitting to add air assist, which I would highly recommend doing. Air assist helps to keep debris away from the laser lens when engraving and greatly improves the quality when cutting.
I did some test cuts with 1 8 inch birch plywood and it cut through no problem with one pass. I have an air assist pump from another laser company that I'm going to use with this, but I have to modify the plug before I can use it. I was a little surprised to learn that NEMA Labs does not sell an air assist pump on their website. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I'll be doing some more testing live on my CNC Q&A podcast tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please leave me a thumbs up and be sure to sus subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any future content. And as always, thank you very much for watching.